oh this is easy and then I got this little plug-in that you'll be loading through the Zscript load and the uh, ZBR7 3D Me Pixel okay I have a link below the video you can download it and try it I also have a link to my website if you think it's kind of cool whatever good um, kind of like in a donation maybe buy something from my website well that's an option well, anyway let's get started uh, this works with another plugin we go to texture here it's a pixel 3d all right this is a plugin made from one of the employees at pixel logic and you need to download that from their website for this to work make sure you got the right version of this plugin to the right version of your zbrush all right let's get started what I want to do is basically uh, we always want our image objects going to the right or facing to the right now we're gonna frame this up then I'm gonna scale this down just a little bit because the pixel 3d and some of these settings here will end up chopping some of this off so we want to scale this down to fit in a little bit you'll see a line in the top here and here and we want this kind of fit in a little bit we want it quite large because um, it'll come out a lot better so that said before we press any of the buttons we're gonna go to the texture and we're gonna go pixel to 3d All right, I have a 3d object out here I'm just gonna use this as an example um, it can be you can draw on here with any kind of uh, anything as long as it's got pixels to it and it will work so let's just go ahead and just get started here and we'll press convert pixels to 3d and give it a few seconds now in the video every now and then I'll be pausing because this is pretty intense and things can get a little slow all right now I'm gonna use a scale button here and I'm going to scale this down uh, as you can see it kind of extruded it a little too much there's always different ways that you can fix this and maybe I'll show you later on because the the shoulder is really going out well actually I'll just probably show you right now so let's go ahead and uh, load that back up there's like I said there's always different ways you can do this so uh, let me not get out of hand here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, flatten here. I want to flatten uh, this side here because I want it facing this way. And this should kind of help. Like I said, frame the mesh and scale it back down. So let's try that again. scale this down and you can see it kind of didn't make it extrude too much but it's not too bad all right all right we're gonna go on the next step uh, we're gonna go to the uh, Z script and press previous you can probably set up a hotkey for this and this should load the script down here all right let's say you're happy with that then we're gonna press the uh, setup here and it says press the setup button after you press the Marcus Civic Pixel 3D. So this is the next step. All right. And give it a second. Now, some of these buttons will delete some of the tools over here because this thing is very intense. As you can see, I have a image plane. All right. And you can see the crosshairs right here. All right, we need to move this thing over on the other side because it's going to do some mirroring here. So I'm going to go to the offset here and I'm going to move it over. Let me screw up a little bit. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but down here it's still going through the image plane. So we can keep on clicking this button if we want to kind of move it over. And as you can see, it just appeared there. I might give it an extra click. This is something you have to experiment with. All right, let's scale this back down. And what you want to do when you're done is you want to press the uh, shrink button here. All right, it's going to mirror and weld it. And you might have to press it more than once to get rid of the image plane. All right, it's done there. 
and we're gonna press shrink again and there it disappeared all right all right let's say this is hap I'm happy with this I'm gonna press this uh, finish button this means high to low and I'm not gonna do anything it's got a seam in here and we'll go ahead and fix that here in a second so I'm gonna press here pause the video Alright, it is finished. As you can see, if we go to geometry, we have high and low subdivision levels. Alright, now if we want to get rid of the seams, uh, there's a few things we can do. Uh, all kind of options, so like a uh, little polish it. Um, there might be areas that I can't see, like uh, like behind the ear in the back, or right here, behind the ear. Uh, you can probably set a little bit of polish to it, and it'll clean it up a little bit. Well, and it did right there, pretty good. Uh, we can see we got some seams in the front. Uh, when we go to the transform here, uh, I believe this will be mirrored on the z-axis for both sides here. Uh, the smooth rush works really good by holding the shift key until you see the blue cursor. And once you start dragging a little bit, let off the shift key. And this will give it a nice smooth shape here, or smooth it out. If I just use the shift key and drag, sometimes it don't work as good. Um, and you can see here, we'll just like hold the shift key, let up, and just drag. It's called smart smoothing. And if you want, uh, you're kind of happy with that or whatever. I'm not going to do the whole thing. We'll press finish again if you want. That's an option. Now, even though that I started off with the 3G object, uh, it was actually made from this alpha here. Okay, I'm going to do one with this teapot here. Now, when I get done, I want it facing directly towards me here. So basically, for this to work, we need to turn it to the right. Hold the shift key till it snaps directly in there. Uh, we're going to frame this up. And remember, always scale it down. We want to give it some room here, but not too small. We want to keep it quite large. And when we get done here, we're going to go to the texture and convert pixels to 3D. All right, and it's finished up. And I'm going to scale this down. As you can see, some of the texture is stretched, but if we go to the uh, texture map and turn it off, everything looks pretty good, okay? So, I'm kind of happy with that. So, we're going to go ahead and do the previous script here. So, we'll load this one back up. We have this masking. Uh, what this will do is it's going to help speed things up because we're looking at 3 million polygons right here. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn this back on, for instance, right here. And I'm going to use the masking right here. And this will take just a little bit of time. Okay, it's finished here. Kind of hard to see with the texture on, so I'm going to do it right here. As you'll see, there's going to be like a little lip right where the uh, image plane used to be on the outer edge. And it went from 3 million, as you can see, how many points is right here. So we cut that way down. This is going to help things speed things up a little bit. As long as everything looks good. All right. Once we're doing that, then we're going to press here. And give it a few seconds. As you can see right here where my cursor's at, that's the halfway mark. And we want to go ahead and move that over some. So we'll go to deformation. And we're going to offset this and drag it to the side here. Alright. We want to get close as we can without... I'm going to the right. We want to get close as we can without overdoing it. All right. But like I said, sometimes it's experimental, and uh, I could probably get right on it and do it in one click. So we want to get close as we can. That way, we don't have to keep on pressing the shrink button. So let's just do that one time, kind of far away a little bit. That's not bad. I think I got it right there. Tell you the truth, if I press shrink again, this is gonna. See, I made the top here a little oval there. Wow, that was kind of round, so 
hey, we'll use the history and go back, and this is what I want. And once again, when we're done, we can press the finish button. I had paused the video and I did press the finish so we can have uh, low and high subdivision levels over here. See at the highest, um, actually when I imported this model, it was based on a low poly model. And if you divide it, it's going to have that low poly look to it. So if I want to go ahead and uh, smooth that up a little bit, we can just turn this down here. And I'll well, turn all the way off. And delete high. And since our smooth is on right here, we can divide this and make it kind of smooth. And as you can see, uh, basically in this one here, I didn't apply any kind of uh, smoothing to the seam. Now the seam is gone out of here. Well, pretty much so, a little bit in the top, but it's not bad. Okay, I had... Uh, been using 3D object and you're probably saying, well, if I already got a 3D object, why well, want to make another one? Well, actually, these are all made from the alpha. This one here is uh, the, the masking I was using, so this has no depth. So if I select uh, the one that has the depth here, right here, you can import any kind of alpha. and It's got some grayscale to it. And for instance here, I'll just go ahead and go to alpha, transfer, and we're going to crop and fill this. All right, this is 2D, okay? Just to show you from proof, I'll switch to a simple brush here. And this is to the canvas, okay? It's got uh, depth to it. So this can work either way by using alpha. So let's just go ahead and try this and pixel 3D. Awesome script. All right, and we're gonna scale that down. And if I open a tutorial window here, you can see my scripts not here. That's why I always go to Z script and previous. And then when we're done, we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to finish. All right, and press setup. All right, like I said, uh, these buttons will delete uh, most of your new tools because uh, this is very intense. Uh, this one here, you can see I, there's some flag coming off here at the top. Uh, we can use the masking to get rid of that. Uh, we, all kinds of ways. We need to lower this polygon count. And uh, this is not a necessity, but uh, you can either do it like hiding part of this. So I come in here, drag right here. Get it just a little bit. Let go. And then press, well, let's get it over here to the side here sure we are on the halfway mark and we're going to use the offset to switch it over if you look at the bottom right here you can see the, the green axes here and we want that to be on the other side so you no longer see it all right then you can move it back to the right now I can see it uh, you might want to go an extra click did it once when it was hidden. Let's just do a next one just to see what happens. And let's press shrink. Oh, partially hidden. Well, what I'll do for that. If you ever get that pop up uh, partially hidden, you just press the setup button again. And wait till it comes back on. And it's still at the uh, same spot here, so now when I press shrink, it'll work. And voila. If I use this back here, you can see the image plane. When it was done, it's right there. If you want to look at the mesh when you're shrinking it here with the shrink button, you can go ahead and turn on the frames on here. And you can see how the uh, lines are, are flowing in a good even path here and that's kind of option uh, you might want to have this off I don't know if it kind of speeds it up or not but uh, that's kind of an option if you want to check that out all right we're gonna try something a little different here all right so I'm gonna turn to the right remember that F on the keyboard same as the frame here then we're gonna scale this down I'm gonna 
going to use the race brush here. And we're going to go ahead and race a hole here. Change the alpha, let's say, to a star. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to assume everything's going to work. And sometimes they don't. So we'll see here in a second. going to scale this down it looks all right but you always got to look and you can see uh, this is displaced too far um, there's all kinds of options you can tweak this I have other videos uh, let's just try something else and see if we uh, help fix that all right let's try that again to the right frame it up scale it down the race brush we'll pick one here and we'll do one here this time we'll go to alpha and uh, we're gonna drag grab dock there's our new alpha here uh, you can see there's no depth so what happened here let's control z this zoom zoom dock here okay now we seem like we have grayscale maybe it has to do something with this brush let's try the simple brush all right uh, star here that's a bump okay I hold the uh, what I did was click it and right there now I'm gonna hold the alt key and click it make it insert in pressing the one key to repeat the stroke as you can see it getting further 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 and if I click out here and just click once repeat the stroke by pressing the one key brings it out further let's try that again Grab dock. okay we have grayscale grayscale okay uh, don't see the stars well I can slightly see it so let's see what happens let's go ahead and crop the field looks good now I can see depth texture pixel 3d and then we're gonna scale that down okay I can live with that right there I mean I can adjust that but uh, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and adjust it what the heck let me go ahead and flatten that one side a little bit Oops, the wrong direction. I'll be on the Z. Alright. Now, I'm not going quite past the halfway. I'm going a little bit before it. That's kind of an option you're going to have to mess with. You do not want to exceed more than halfway. That means over on this side. Heck, let's just try this all the way to see what the heck it does. I haven't even tried it. Let's bring it all the way up. Oh, come on. I'll just type it in. So I want to go minus 100. Descript. Previous. I would highly use this mask because it's going to speed things up. Using it with this image plane will work, but it's going to slow it down. And if you don't, you can see up here I got a little slag up here on the left hand corner. I don't really want that uh, and probably end up having part of this later and have to remove it. Um, and also, like I said, you can always crop this out a little bit and get in there if you don't want to use mask, but make sure that you press uh, set up again. And you get something like this. Right? And like I said, when this thing is very intense, it's going to remove all your tools in there except the one you're using. So keep that in mind. 
and also when you press setup it moves some of these um, X, Y, and Z buttons so they're all set up for you so you don't have to do nothing. Alright, I'm going to keep it a little bit to the left. That's close enough. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I'm on the left of the Y axis and let's shrink that bad boy. As you can see, I had flattened it out past the halfway mark, which makes the nose thin. So that's the reason why you don't want to exceed the halfway mark. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, not really fixing it like I want, but let's flatten that out a little bit. And there you go. kind of do this right now or you can do it after you press finish some when you press finish you can actually it'll start looking a little bit better stay with it. I'll press that setup again right before I press finish all right it's gonna save us a little bit on the polygon count I'll press. all right now I had finished this and uh, use the finish button here I did pause the video and we got higher and lower subdivision level Uh, I'm getting ready to f finish up here and I want to go over three different things here or a couple actually um, with this image plane it's going to uh, be a little slow we can speed it up by using the mask okay or we can speed it up by hiding part of the mesh here and once we do that we need to press set up again control Z that another thing will speed it up is if we turn the subdivision from six down to five or whatever it is and turn it down one hey and if it looks fairly good there it's going to lose a little uh little shape to it but if you can live with it it's going to speed it up and if we do that it's got subdivision levels we need to press the setup again and another thing is uh i want to show you one little thing here uh, as you can see that uh i was moving this uh object on the other side of this center axis and if we don't do that pressure shrink we'll be able to get this all right it's trying to mirror it to the other side and this is probably not what you want control z that so just make sure that uh i turn the floor back on that you want to move that on the other side so offset this and we want it on the side now if i get way out to the side here to the left, uh, I'm going to have to press the shrink button quite a bit, as you can see here. Now when you do this, this thing will start lagging and could cause it to crash. Click it again. If you find it lagging a little bit, um, I've got it in the script so it deletes all these uh, tools that it's making. And when you're done with this, make sure you save your tool. Uh, this works on a lot of objects, but not all. So don't expect uh, you'll have to tinker around with it. Uh, some of these symmetrical objects seem to be working pretty good. I have different scripts uh, for my videos that are similar to this that you can try. So uh, like I did that one with the alpha and this one here on my other script. It runs really fast, um, so you might want to try that other script. Just do a search for my um, 
3DB scripts and thank you very much.